doctors under the aegis of the Medical Guild of Lagos today that don't start off a three-day warning strike, take off issues on top safety plus welfare. Even Self and Plus TV Africa Talk Talk person Mary Chinda, she been visit hospitals when inside Lagos and she can summarize the story. The General Hospital, Lagos Island. Inside the hospital, the doctors would not speak with us. Mr. and Mrs. Ajidaba are in their 80s. They are badly in need of medical attention. Nimota Ajidaba is a partial stroke patient. Along with her 80-year-old husband, she is returning from a medical checkup and referral from another hospital. The news of the three-day strike by medical doctors in government hospitals comes to them with dismay. It's not good. Don't have, don't have cycle. Don't, don't tell them not to cycle at all. Don't cycle. Then the body go place for Nigeria. While the opinions of Mr. Ajidaba and his wife represent the sentiment of a good fraction of outpatients across Lagos who are in need of medical attention, for doctors working with government hospitals, the decision to go on strike is to speak against the protracted neglect by the Lagos State Government as well as the non-uniform handling of the COVID-19 responses for all hospitals and the non-payment of the COVID-19 hazard allowance, amongst others. There has been this huge gap between what doctors in Lagos and, and their colleagues in federal hospitals. Even federal government, federal workers, they are not seeing one-tenth of the COVID patients that we are seeing. Lagos is the epicenter. Doctors are not going to be expected to be in the clinics. They're not going to be expected to be um, running their regular ward rounds. They're not going to be expected to be doing their regular surgeries and, and other procedures. As the warning strike enters day two, Tuesday, July 14, some doctors say their decision isn't a malicious attempt. The doctors are not that wicked or lack care for patients. The hospital system has an emergency that is going to be open 24-7, just that the outpatient department, the general outpatient department, patients that just come to check in on their normal vitals will not be available. But this strike is needed to get what we need. As the doctor's strike in Lagos hits day one, patients at the General Hospital right here at the Lagos Island may seem lucky because I'm told reliably that doctors at this hospital have not yet started off the strike. But one thing that will not be taken away is how much hardship this three-day strike would pose on Lagosians, especially in the heat of the spread of the COVID-19. From the Lagos Island, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.